and we're back okay in this video I'm just going to show you how to add the splice guest tools to the Windows XP VM so I'm just gonna let it boot up here and um, then we'll just go ahead and add those splice tools so in the last video I already set up the virtual machine here with the ISO and now we're just gonna include the splice tools which I guess is kind of like the, the um, Guest uh, additions for virtual box or so let's see. So, anytime you want to add a <clears throat> excuse me, an image or like a CD DVD, you just um, you just come down here to browse and then I've got the spice guest tools right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in and I should see a pop up right away which it auto played. And I'm just going to double click this here and it says welcome to Spice Guest Tools setup. It's going to go ahead and you can see it's coming from Red Hat. Click I agree. And that should be it. So I believe this should help us with the display and overall functionality of this VM. Is pretty incredible. Um, the fact that we're running this uh, VM on the uh, ARM platform, it's just wild. Um, it's pretty cool. It's quite fast. It's actually not that bad at all, um, to be honest. I mean, I, I figured it would be. I'm not sure if I can add. Let me play with the settings a little bit there just to see if uh, maybe we can add like an extra CPU and some more RAM or something, so I'm not sure. Location, so we'll see. So obviously this, um, you know, this VM is just for testing, right? Uh, and I know some labs require like uh, an older Windows XP machine to show some of the vulnerabilities from the past and that sort of thing. So at least this is an easy way to get a Windows XP machine going. So let's see here, quick finish. Probably have to reboot. So I'm just gonna clear this uh, guest tools now and just go ahead and reboot and just see see if it makes a difference or I'm not sure if it will automatically resize as we stretch the screen or I guess we'll find out here in a second. I'm really impressed with this uh, UTM software. I, I think it's pretty cool. So I mean it's it's actually just as fast or faster when you know back in the day when you had a Windows XP machine on native hardware. I mean, it, a Windows XP computer wouldn't boot this fast, right? So this is pretty wild. I'm digging it. I like it. That's it. I mean, you should be good to go here. Let's see. Seems like the welcome screen is frozen. So, oh, there we go. So I don't know if it has like a dynamic, if it'll automatically resize or not. Maybe you have to, I'm not sure. Let's see, settings, resolution. There we go. So, I mean, it's, 
That's pretty neat. So like I don't know if it'll automatically resize, but I mean, you know, you can set it yourself, right? So let's see if it'll do like 1920 by 1080. What? This is wild. That's cool, right? I mean, it'll go into full screen here, so that's pretty cool. 2022 having Windows, <laughs> Windows XP in the full screen. I mean, I think that's pretty wild. So I'm just going to exit the full screen here because it's probably going to. So let's see. Let's try that. That's pretty cool. All right, and so that's it. Um, there's uh, probably in the next video or a little bit later on, we'll just see how to set up some shares. Um, I'll probably use this machine for um, you know maybe some testing or something like that in the future. So but yeah, that's it. All right, so. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.